Hello and welcome to Unlimited Adventures. My name is Ben. In this video, I want to talk about dwarven craft weapons. Dwarves are master miners and artisans. They dive deep into mountains to collect riches, and they tend to hoard it. This means that a great deal of wealth needs to be defended, and defend it they do, with weapons and armor crafted by their own kind. So, let's get into this. Dwarves hoard and guard their riches, and they have a mighty military to back this up. A true force to be reckoned with if anybody has ever seen a dwarven phalanx. For this, their shields need to be broad, their armor thick, and the dwarven armor and shields are the thickest in the world. Armor that is at least medium or heavy weighs more than normal of its kind. It weighs an extra 5 pounds. The reason for this is it's been reinforced by removing some weak points, increasing the armor rating by plus 1 for medium armor and plus 2 for heavy armor. If you're going to wear dwarven armor, you better be strong. Dwarven shields are broad and thick, and because of this, they're heavier, like the armor, made of solid steel weighing two more pounds than normal shield, but adding plus 1 to armor bonus given, making it harder for arrows and swords to penetrate them. Dwarven weapons are heavy, increasing the weight by an additional 2 pounds, but Dwarven weapons are designed to put down enemies hard. To reflect this, I add the Brutal property to weapons. Just like the Clash feature, Brutal weapons add an extra die of critical damage. The extra die reflects the weight of the weapons and the fact that they just cleave in deeper to those soft spots when you get that critical hit. Firearms are some things that some DMs allow and some do not. They are powerful, and even the base pistol in the Dungeon Master's Guide has a D10 for base damage for it. It's pretty decent. But of course, dwarves have their own variant. The Dwarven Craft Firearms have the pushback property. The pushback property means the target needs to make a DC-14 strength saving throw or be pushed back 10 feet due to the sheer power of the weapon. The downside is, is you sacrifice some of the power of the weapon for this, reducing the damage die by 1, which means a D10 would go to a D8. As you can see, Dwarven Craft's items are not to be messed with, but these are my house rules for them. What do you use? Do you like these? Do you think they're too much? Are they not enough? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, give a like and maybe a subscribe. Either way, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.